this is the top of our mountain right up here and where it flows down and we're on this kind of level area right here it's green because we're in the middle of winter so what we've done is we built this system of terraces right here we're at the very top of the mountain so the water flow shouldn't ever get really strong and since it's flat that was a perfect area for doing these little terracing tools so I'd like to walk you down it and you can just see what happens here we are, you can, this was our first terrace we, we did and you can see that it started to build up some silt on the uphill side this, this won't grab very much silt but it will grab enough enough to slow down the water and then as we walk further down you have a whole series a whole series of uh, terraces heading all the way down until it plummets down into the rest of the wadi and you can see along each one of these we've got new buildup of silt this is from two weeks ago uh, so before it used to be more sloped it's flatter now which means slower water flow and better areas for planting trees and you can just see as each series of uh, as along each terrace you've got this buildup of silt going right down the line where the water used to flow and I'm gonna take it down there and then we'll see what happens when you get to a steeper part you can hear the sprinkles starting to get a little bigger so you can see the buildup of silt here it needs a little bit of repair on this one but it just goes all along and you build these terraces along the contours of the land and that way the water when it hits one it doesn't really go downhill anywhere because the whole thing is level here we are we just follow this path of the water flow right down the middle of these terraces each one has started to build up silt behind it and then you can see where we don't have a terrace it falls a little bit and gets a little rocky so we're just following the path of the water here and then you come to our first gabion right here so you can see that the gabion as well has some a good amount of silt built up behind it it's shaped like a banana so that the water only flows over the middle if we ever get a really big flood so the water will come right down here flows over the top of the gabion and then you can see our next one so we have a whole series of gabions that are going to create level silt fields they're going to slow down the water flow and allow us to control the water once it gets down into the floodplain. So here we are. It's a nice shaped gabion. This one is actually new. We built it two days ago after looking at the results of the rain and figuring out, you know, how can we improve the system? Where does it need adjustment? So we come around the tree here, and here's our third gabion and you can see the fourth further down both of these were here when the rain came two weeks ago and you can see that silt field development okay so we just follow the path of the water here down in this wadi now I mean it's obvious where the water is going to go when you've got two big ridges like this and because it's a nice thin area and because it's mostly flat this is, I mean, this is a good place to build a check dam or a gabion here we are here's our fourth one and then it gets a little steeper 
uh, on steeper areas it becomes less useful to build these. So the water will run down and you can see kind of it will run down all the way to the bottom of the wadi where our main series of gabions and check dams is. And that way we control we start slowing down the water up at the very top where uh, we're pretty sure that things won't get destroyed because the water doesn't really have a chance to get stronger. And then we slow it down enough so that once the water hits our main series of check dams it's not going to wash them away or destroy them. So that's that's one of our one of our systems. We start up at the top with uh, with our terraces and then we come on down with a series of check dams to control the water flow. This is getting heavy. I'm pretty excited. We may see a flash flood today and I hope so. Let's see if we can get footage of it. This is the same series we're looking at. We're down about 50 meters and uh, they've, we've got two more gabions in this series. Here's one and I'm standing right on top of the second so the water flows down. Here we are and I'm standing on this really big gabion here. We'll get a better view of it once I can get downhill a bit. I don't think we're gonna see a flash flood today but I do hope to get footage of that sometime so we can see exactly what happens when you get even a little bit of rain. Here we are. This is the last series, the last gabion in this uh, secondary series that we've got. And it runs right down past this tree here. And then down onto our main series of gabions right there. So we have these ridges, these little wadis that come up from the top of the mountain. The water comes all the way down, picks up some speed, and hits the main wadi. From there it flows out onto the floodplain. So I hope you've enjoyed this walk down uh, one of our systems of earthworks. And uh, I'll show you the rest in a different video.